Hey guys, what's up? No for you here, and today giving you another bucket tutorial with Permissions X. Now, Permissions X is a uh, rank plugin to allow your users to have permissions that you want them to have. Now, you, I'm going to put the download download link in the description, and you're also going to need Notepad plus plus to make this a, a lot easier. So you're going to download it and then put it into your plugins folder, and then uh, put the jar in here. Then you want to start up your server. And um, bucket actually takes a while with 1.7.2. I don't know why it's such a long loading time, but we can't do anything to control that right now. So we're just gonna need to wait the extra couple seconds as you see it started up right now. And permissions X, there's no errors with everything. It's just preparing spawn. Um, enabling permissions X, so you know that's good. And then you could do stop to stop your server. And let that save successfully, and then press any button to stop. So, as you see, it made the uh, folder for it. So, in the config, or you could go into the folder. In the config, you could right click and then edit with Notepad. But with the config, I'm just showing you don't touch anything unless you rename that uh, permissions.yml. Um, you would just put the permissions in there, or the folder, I mean, YML name. But okay, so here's the real thing the permissions at YML. So you're going to edit that with Notepad. Also, so you could actually read it. So here's what they start you off with. Now, groups are telling you, oops, sorry, groups are telling you what um, groups there are. This um, group is called the default group. And we'll just change that to beginner. Right, so that's the beginner group. Make sure you never hit tab in YML also, because that just messes up the whole entire code. You just want to keep hitting spaces. So beginner, the default true, which means this is the um, rank that you get when you first join the server. Now, in between the positions, I like to put um, suffix, like if I can spell, suffix, and then um, you do quotes, or I'll do, do it like that, so. Then you want, if you want, you can choose a color code. So, say I wanted to make this guy white. So I do and F, then either, um, to make it fancy, I could do that, or this. So I could do, make it say beginner. And then, if I want their name to be white, I do and F again. But I want their name to be, say if I wanted their name to be light green, I would do and A for a light green name. So, the beginner tag would be white, and their name, which comes after the tag, would be light green. Now, permissions. This is the stuff that you're going to allow your um, players to have. So, this comes with the Modify World. I honestly don't know what it is, but I keep it in. So, if you want to add a new permission, you hit enter, then backspace, then go like that, uh, hit space until you get up to there. The, da um, the dash and then space again. So say I'm gonna give them permissions to some essentials commands. Essentials is a plugin which is very very useful with teleports and setting homes and setting spawn and sign signs and everything. I'll also do a tutorial on essentials in the future maybe. So what essentials say I want them to have access to go to spawn. So I give them the permission node essentials essentials dot spawn. Now that gives them permission to do slash spawn, and you they would go to the spawn that you set um, for them to join uh, to go to, and they would also join to the set spawn also when they first join the server. Um, also, you could give them to commands to essentials dot warps, and that gives them permission to. Gum, do any warp. Alright, so I'm not going to do a bunch of commands or permission nodes, but say you, you're going to make a bunch of like ranks, like you're going to have like 10 ranks or whatever, and you don't want to keep copying and pasting it because it would just seem like uh, the file is like really long. So what you could do is this thing called inheritance. So you could do inheritance and then do this and then well, this has no inheritance, actually, because it's the um, first rank there is. So, actually, let's make a new rank. Let's call this, um, I don't know, 
trusted to what my server has. Uh, let me just make sure they're all lined up with each other, and they are. Okay. So trusted. Uh, we don't need the default true anymore. But we do still need suffix if we want them to actually have that. So we'll make them and um, I don't know, I'm just doing something random. And one, that's dark blue. And then we'll do trusted. Oop, trusted. Then and um, I don't know, two. I forget what and two is. I'll do and five. And five is purple. And the quotes that we're going to give them well, permissions. We could still put this in, but say you want to give trusted permissions that beginner will not get, like um, essentials.setwarp, which will allow your um, players to set their own warps and teleport to them as they like. So that's how you give uh, permission to a higher rank. And um, also, forget to add this in, you could do rank, I think it is. Um, and then go like this, um, 1000. So that rank 1000, okay, so I actually don't have rank in my real server, but rank allows you to specify the level of the, of the group that they're in. Okay, I messed that up. So if you set the rank to 1000, I think it's rank. Don't get me wrong, so don't actually, you know, just ignore it. We don't need to, shit, <laughs> we don't need to put that in. But rank just says, um, hey, if you're 1,000 and then the next one is 900, 900 is closer to 1, so 900 will have more priority, I guess you could say. Alright, so what I was saying before with inheritance, uh, say you don't want to keep adding all that, say if you have a bunch of commands and you don't want to like keep copy and pasting, because it'll just make the file pretty long. You can just do inheritance and then beginner. So that will give the trusted rank all the permissions that beginner has. Now say you made moderator and everything and you want to make your last rank which is owner or whatever. So you do owner um, suffix will be I like to use red so and for or that's yeah, that's right. Owner, and then maybe the name, and six. I think six is um, orange. So your name would be orange, and the rank is four. I mean, the rank is red. So you give them... Alright, so... Sorry, I'm starting a lot. And I did that wrong. Permissions. Now, you want to give them permission to everything if you're the owner. So, what you want to do is give them permission to um, this. So that gives them all the commands that are in the whole server. And then you could do the rank at the bottom if you want. And um, inheritance, you don't really need inheritance because you have all the permissions, but if you really wanted to, you could do that. So you want to save that, and then you go into your shit. What just happened? Oops. Um, tutorials. You'd save it and then you'd run your server. So it's loading libraries. But while that's loading, let me tell you, um, you might get some errors in this. So you want to go to your plugins, go here, and to check for any errors, um, just copy the whole thing, and we're gonna go to a website. Uh, gonna Google it. Why a uh, fuck? Why a ML parser? The the first website right here. So you just paste that in, and the output is good. Now say if I added in a tab right there. Tab, tab, tab. Okay, not working. Yes, um, okay, so say if I accidentally started doing all the spaces, I hit tab. It's going to pop up as red, so you know it's wrong, but do that. It says error, um, line 13, column 1. So you go to line 13, which right here in the first column, saying that there's a tab there, 
and then you just fix it like that. Um, so that's how you tell if there's a bug in it, but if there's no bug, wait, hold on, let me copy and paste it. Uh, not a bug, but no errors. But if there are no errors, you just use the YAML parser, and the output should be exactly like that, like the um, input. So, um, see, it, it enabled all correctly, but I actually can't go on the server right now. Actually, I can, but they just re, um, redirected me to my other server. So actually, I'll just go on that now real quick. <coughs> Sorry. So if you were to go on, let me just do F1 so I don't see anything. If you were to go on, you'd um, talk in the chat, but then you realize mm, there's no rank. Now, that's because, like I said, you, um, or I didn't say this. I was giving you um, commands to essentials before because I was good. I'm tying this in now. You're gonna want to get essentials, which will come the essentials.jar will come with the essentials.spawn. Uh, that's my name by the way. And um, essentials.spawn and let me just go into my folder to actually just do this really quickly instead of actually re-downloading everything. So you would want to get essentials.jar, essentials chat, and essentials spawn. I'm gonna copy this in. And gonna reload the server. Alright, so that um, give us plugin metrics, uh, metrics and essentials. And I'll, I, like I said, I'm gonna do another essentials. Um, fucking <laughs> tutorial. But if you go to the essentials chat section, come on, where is it? Essentials chat. So this is the chat. And if you wanted to change the format, it would be in here. So you'd be like, it display the name and then the message. And um, if you had factions, you'd put in like fa uh, faction tag. But whatever, I'll do a tutorial on that maybe later. So that's um, the just not just chat. And everything should work out. Hey guys, really sorry about this. Um, I actually messed up the the config. This should be prefix, not suffix. So prefix, prefix, and prefix. I forgot suffix comes after the name, so it's my bad. So pex, reload. I actually set up the save right now, so. There we go. Alright, so yeah. My bad about that. Um, thank you for watching. Sorry about the little mix up right there. I'll put all the download links in the description, and I will see you guys later.